Okay. Well, my dear friends, I hope that was I hope that was rewarding for you. I'll tell you, Janet and I had a conversation after after you went into your breakout rooms, and there's a couple of a couple of things. One is that there was quite a number of people that didn't get in tonight because there was a glitch on the website, as most of you know, and and so there was a lot of people that didn't get here. Secondly, this chapter is so rich and so filled with really important and valuable information that we need to not only digest, but we need to begin to live it. So what I'd like for you to do is once again this week, read this chapter, this same chapter. We're gonna extend our class for one week because I want us to do this chapter again next week, not only so the people who weren't here tonight can, can, can be, in this class while we do this chapter, but it gives me a new, an opportunity to go deeper. The, there's two chapters in this. One talking about our communication with the matrix, the other talking about the fear that runs our lives. And it's so important that we really get that, that we re personally get that. The problem with this, with this class and with any class is that a lot of times we get it up here, we get it in our brain, but we don't really get it, get it. I want us to get it. I want us to really feel, see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it. I want us to really get it. I want us to individually, personally own it. And so please read this chapter again. The promise that waits for us when we dare to venture beyond the familiar. And this class is the first part, the divine matrix part, the second part, the fear part, is all about living in the familiar, living in the comfort zone, living in what fits and feels right. <clears throat> Excuse me. The promise that waits for us beyond the horizon of our comfort zone, of the familiar, is, is amazing. We live forever. We are only here for a little while, a tiny little while in these bodies. You know, in the, in the meditations that we've been doing, that you go outside of your body. You go, you, 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 you dwell outside of your body. And next week, we're going to go even farther outside. And Sunday, we're going to go farther outside. So that you can begin to know that that you are a ship on the sea, but you are, excuse me, that your body is a ship on the sea, but you are not the ship, you are the sea. So let us, let us read this chapter again. That's our homework. And pay, pay close attention to how you're communicating with the matrix through your thoughts and your beliefs and your actions. We're going to go back and have you all unmute yourselves and hit gallery view up in the right-hand corner so that we can all see each other. Unmute yourselves, Susan, Ryan, Dorothy. Yeah, everyone, thank you. How it's going? Thank, thank you, Bob. everybody. Sorry, thank you. Hi, everyone. Hi. 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 Thank you. Good night, my dear. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Love you. Bye. 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 Love you. Bye. 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 Oh, sure. Bye. Bye. Jean, please tell Jerry hi for me and give him a big hug. Will do, and same to Mary. Okay, and you've got my phone number. You need you need me. Call me anytime, dear. Okay, thank you. I love yeah. you. Wish Mary a happy birthday for me. I will do that. Much love, you. Much love, Jean. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Jean. Good night, all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Brian. Thanks for a great class. Thank you. Yeah. Night, I think Lord. it's a great class to repeat for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you on Sunday or we'll see you next week.